The Kimberley Aboriginal Women's Council is uh, a newly incorporated uh, organisation that we have set up a group of women um, through a process of uh, engagement and set up to be the advocate around gender justice. I believe that the partnership between the Kimberley Aboriginal Women's Council, the Cork, and Oxfam will help us as, as Kimberley Aboriginal women to further empower and build the capacity of our local change agents across the region um, and provide them with you know, the skills and the tools um, around political engagement and lobbying. So when policies are being made or programs are being developed, they uh, have enough confidence and self-esteem to demand to sit at the table to be a part of the co-designing and advocate for our, for our people. This is exciting. Um, it's, it's an opportunity for us to come together with the Aboriginal women of the Kimberley to support the new council that they've established. And that's an exciting move on their part and comes after much work and developmental thinking. And we're excited because a number of those women are also Straight Talk alums. So we're conscious that their move to establish the council was very much driven by women who had been inspired by their participation in Straight Talk and returned home and thought about you know, what else could we do? So from Oxfam's point of view, this is really exciting and important because it tells us that the work that we're doing in Straight Talk to support women's change making produces very concrete results in areas that are of concern to us and certainly are of concern to those women. In 2013, I was uh, fortunate enough to be selected to attend the National Straight Talk Summit in Canberra. A bit of a scary uh, opportunity for me, first time in Canberra, and being amongst uh, amazing, inspiring women from all around the country. What I learned in that week, participating in the summit, was new skills around political engagement. So when I returned home, I was able to be a stronger advocate for my people. Ever since then, I knew that I had to get or convince Oxfam to come to the region because I knew that because I benefited so much that the women in the Kimberley would also be able to benefit.